Hi folks and welcome back to another play along video. This episode is Lanigan's Ball, a classic Irish jig that is worth learning for every session that you might go to. Do you follow me on Patreon? If not, head over there and you can access all the backing tracks and sheet music for this tune as well as all other play along videos in the past and in the future. And if you're watching this, I want to ask you if you find it useful having the violin play through the tune slowly at the beginning. That is what I've done in every episode so far, but if you're listening, um, please leave a comment and let me know if that is actually useful. Or maybe we could get straight to the backing tracks. Another idea I've had is to actually release some of the uh, performances on their own. So let me know if you think that would be a good idea as well. In any case, if you haven't subscribed already, do join this community. We are growing, we are getting bigger, and we are all enjoying playing music together. Now, as normal, we do start the tune very slowly just to ease you into it. You can practice playing along with me or maybe accompanying me just so that you get your bearings, especially if this is a new tune for you. Firstly, the A section. Now, the B section. Now just a quick point about the A section, I've notated it to have a dotted rhythm, but you can actually play that straight if you wish. And in the faster backing track I think I do actually play it more straight. The other thing you can do, which some people do when they play this tune, is instead of going to the F sharp, you can go to a D. So have a play with those different options and remember it doesn't really matter which one you do because they will all fit with the accompaniment and all fit with the tune. Well, let's put all our practice into the first slower backing track.
Great, I hope you enjoyed that. This tune actually works really beautifully at that speed, in my opinion. If you want to have your own copy of the backing tracks and the sheet music, head over to my Patreon first, link in the description. Support me over there and you could have access to all behind the scenes, advanced episodes, as well as all the sheet music backing tracks with and without lead. Over on Patreon, you also have a more direct contact to me. So if you have suggestions or requests or anything else you'd like to contact me about, that's quite a good place to do it. And I've already had a few requests which I've added to my list of tunes, which over time we will slowly get through. I hope you're liking this video. If you are, leave a like and comment. Let me know how you're getting on. And let's move into the faster backing track. Amazing. I hope that was good fun. If you're an accompanist, this is a good track to practice the stops so that you get those rhythmic dun dun that really, really drives home the tune. In terms of arrangement, it's quite a nice technique to have shorter, um, sparse accompaniment at times to give the tune time to shine. And then at other moments, you bring everything in together with all your chords. And it just makes a bit of a contrast throughout the track, which uh, makes it more engaging. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this episode. Short but sweet and a wonderful tune. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like and leave a comment to let me know how you're getting on with this track. Subscribe if you haven't. I see statistics that a lot of people watching these videos are not subscribed. so. Please uh, join the channel, join this community and play with us all. Other than that, I hope you have enjoyed the music and I'll see you in the next one.